I have a simple 101 automation for you today. I call it the lead research and notification automation. This is perfect for sales teams and for marketers who are doing lead gen and looking for more information on their leads before they reach out and connect to them. So what this automation does is it connects with any CRM that you're using, even a spreadsheet. And then once a lead comes in, this automation will run, pick up the new lead and send you the leads information as well as detailed research about the website and interesting facts that they found and this all goes into a slack channel because who doesn't love slack most of us are working in teams so most of us are working in slack so let me show you the end product before we get into the automation build itself so i'm in my slack channel and a new lead just came in and this is the information that gets delivered new lead arrived john wick from j wick solutions incorporated it gives me a website summary oh john wick works for the ai marketing automation lab so weird i'll tell you more about that lab later uh, and then it tells you the core features of the website and then it collects some interesting facts so for example it'll tell you uh, the lab directors kelly and rick kranz have brought over 30 years of combined marketing experience and have served over 100 plus clients so that is a fact on the website that this automation pulled and now you're even more equipped to reach out to this contact and nurture them into hopefully a sale and if we haven't met already my name is kelly and i run a school community called the ai marketing automation lab my school is about three things it's about automation that transforms power of community and always staying ahead of the competition i highly suggest you check us out the link is in the description and also if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe now here we go let's jump into the build Looking at our build, this is simply just a make automation. We aren't using any spreadsheets. We aren't using Airtable. This is actually the first automation I've done that I don't use Airtable, but I am using a CRM. And our CRM that we're using today is HubSpot. Yours doesn't have to be HubSpot. Uh, make has a ton of CRMs in here. We have Salesforce. You could see we have Go High Level. Is connected in here you can also look for uh, Google Sheets uh, a regular spreadsheet it's all it's all there it's all there for you so this can be replaced so now let's see what I did here I have my HubSpot CRM module set up and this is a watch CRM objects so clicking into here I've made my connection I set my limit to three and my object type to search is contacts so now I have to select the output properties that I'd like to see and there's a lot, there's a lot in our CRM, so I gotta scroll for a bit, but I'm looking for email, we want that, so we check that off. Then we're gonna come down to first name, check that off, and now I'm looking for last name. There we go, right up here. And last but not least, I want their website URL. And this all goes in alphabetical order, which is why I know where I'm going. Where is that W website URL? So go ahead and click that. Then down here, we just want to select Watch Created New. And then we're going to go ahead and hit Save. So now that our HubSpot CRM is set up, we're going to send that off to an HTTP module called Get a File. But on its way there, we have a filter set up. The filter here is Website URL Exists. We want to make sure that the URL associated with the new contact is actually legit real and if it's not then this automation won't run it's just not going to waste its time so we'll hit save there on that filter and then we have our http get a file module and this is going to be from our hubspot crm properties website url so you could just go ahead because all of these are going to have so many so you're going to select properties website url and you could just type that in there and boom, there it comes up because the CRMs have a ton of properties to choose from. And then hit save. And now we're going to our text parser. This is an HTML to text module. What this is going to do is it's going to pull the data from the HTTP module before it and it's going to turn the HTML from the website into text. That way it can now pass off. So you're going to put in the data from there. There it is, HTTP, data, save. So now that text parser is sending stuff to our website researcher. And this is a create a completion prompt for ChatGPT. So looking into our website researcher, 
I set up my OpenAI connection, so you might have to go through that. Then I selected my method, create a chat completion. And the model that I'm going to use is, there's a ton of models that'll be listed here, but I like to use the latest uh, ChatGPT 4.0. Now we're gonna expand messages and then go into the role and the role that you're gonna select is user. And inside the text content is where we put our prompt. So I highly advise that you take a nice screenshot of this. There is a lot of copy there, but please note that at the bottom, you wanna put the website copy and this comes from the text, from the text parser, because that is the website copy that was taken from the HTML. So once you have that set up in there, you can scroll down and hit save. And if you haven't already, save the automation. Always wanna save as you go because make.com does not save for you. So our website researcher is complete. This just looked at all the details on the website that it's gonna spit back at you into Slack. So now we want our fact finder. What are those fun facts that it dug up on the website for us to equip us to reach out to this contact? Well, for this, we're using a anthropic Claude module and it is a create a prompt. So clicking into here, I have my model, my tokens I left at 4,000, and when you expand messages, you select the role as user, the type is going to be text, and for your text, this is where you're going to put your prompt again. So this one at the top is going to go, your task is to uncover four fascinating facts about this business. And this is the text from the text parser again that turned the HTML from the website into copy. So now I could read it. So here is our full prompt and I'm going to go in sections. So you can take a, screen, a screenshot here. And then if I roll, scroll down a bit, you can take a screenshot of the rest right here. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and hit save. So now we've gone through almost the whole information. So what? how does it end? What's the big enchilada? We got Slack. So we set up our Slack connection, which is something you might have to do. And our enter a channel ID or name is select from a list. Our channel type, it's not a, it's not a private channel, it's a public channel. So we selected public. And our public channel name for this, because we dedicated one channel for these leads to come into with their information, is called ZZ New Leads. We didn't call it ZZ because we're sleeping. We call it ZZ because Slack organizes channels in alphabetical order, so we always know where to find it. It'll be at the bottom. And here is our text. So in our text field, this is how we are arranging the information that comes to you. So new lead arrived, we're going to put the properties from HubSpot in there first. So we've got uh, first name, it's easier to type. That's right there, select that. Same for last name, select this right here. And then company name right there you'll select that and now you have your three properties from your crm loaded in here and now you're going to want your website summary which comes from chat gpt so now for website summary we want to select the properties from chat gpt who did our website research so looking at our website researcher here we're going to go into choices that's a drop down and then we're going to select message and then we're going to select content and that's how it'll show up here and then for some interesting facts, that comes from up here. So that's gonna be text response, and that is right here at the top. And click Save. So now, you're gonna probably wanna set this to run about every 15 minutes. So anytime a new lead comes in, you get a notification. This is completely a hands-off process at that point. So just like that, you just turn that on, hit Save. And for my purposes, I already have new leads set up in the CRM, so I'm going to hit run once and we're going to see what happens. It grabbed the new leads, it did the website research, now it's searching for four facts with Claude. And then once this is done, it's going to kick it off to Slack and it's going to come right into my ZZ channel. All right, let's go see what it did. Popping into Slack, going into my ZZ new leads channel, I can see that a new lead has just arrived. His name is Neo Anderson. Oh, the company he works for is Red Pill or Blue Pill. You get it. And the website summary, um, he also works for the AI Marketing Lab. Amazing, the staff that we have here. 
So it covers our website summary, core features of the website, and then here's our four interesting facts. Number two interesting fact, they have developed Copycat, a unique AI tool that analyzes writing styles to create custom prompts. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you do. And that's that. That is our lead research and notification automation. I hope you like it. I hope you use it. I think that this is a great use case for lead generation. I'm going to now take a red pill and go enter the matrix and hang out with my friend, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> I hope I see y'all for the next one. Have a good one.